With the 4th of July just a few days away, you might want to get your camping plans figured out. But one popular state park in Iowa doesn't have many spots open due to the March floods. Reporter John Madden has more on Wabonzi State Park and how they are helping those displaced from the floods. Well, this is one of the campsites that are open at Wabonzi State Park, but many others are taken and it's all in an effort to help those dealing with tough times. The sounds of cars or the sounds of nature is about all you'll hear at Wabonzi State Park. We don't allow fireworks here, so um, people come here to enjoy some peace and nature on what's otherwise a really busy holiday in a lot of other parks. That's what makes it a popular place for campers, and this year it's still popular. But people are camping here for different reasons. They've either lost their homes or their homes were rendered unlivable or they've lost access to their homes because the roads are covered in water. Matt Moles, the park manager, says more than 40 people who are displaced from the March floods are calling this place home for the time being. It's a remote location down here in southwest Iowa. There aren't a lot of other places for people to go in a hurry, and this came up in a hurry. So those camping spots filled in a hurry too, and while some spots still remain, it's been a process of adapting for everyone at the park. It's a trial for everybody involved for people to have to stay in a place that wasn't designed for long-term occupancy and, and to try to adapt that system to them. But we're making it work. Very, very grateful. And uh, these guys have been so awesome to us. And uh, we all love staying here. Chris Harvey was displaced by flooding in Hamburg and appreciates all the park has done. The laundry is awesome. The bathrooms are awesome. The park added laundry services just a few months ago. Still, there's a concern for the financial hit the park will take, missing out on camping fees since those who are displaced don't have to pay due to a declaration from the governor. But the park manager isn't focusing on that. What better service can you provide to folks than emergency housing? I mean, you know, it, it was a good thing to do regardless of the financial situation. In Iowa, John Madden, 3 News Now. The park says they should have around nine RV spots open on the holiday weekend, which will be first come, first serve, and they are still taking reservations for their on-site cabins. Visit our website, 3 News Now, for the numbers to call to reserve a spot.